Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today I decided to do a uh, Call of Dragons Heroes pairing tier list while we are already into season 2 uh, and I have already have played the game for 7 months um, I, I think I already have enough experience to share my knowledge regarding like which hero pairs are the best and so on here are like uh, S tier, A tier, B, C and D, that's how I look at it. On a S tier, on a super max, uh, highest tier, I will put the legendary heroes only. Uh, I mean, first the tier list will be like, both heroes will be legendary. Uh, and the next one, I will put some of the epic ones, because some epic heroes need to, to be mentioned regarding hero pairings, uh, of course, if you are a free-to-play player like me, mostly. Uh, regarding, like, one of the best hero pairs, I, th I think uh, there should be Sindrion and Freygar. These are both new heroes, uh, which got introduced lately, and I think their synergy with the auto-attack uh, build, like, they are good in uh, battlefield during wars, they are amazing during uh, Behemoth, and I guess that's like the only main two option for the marksman to be successful in the game. That's why, in my opinion, these two heroes um, are good together. Uh, like with the crit build, with the uh, normal attack uh, uh, keen build. I think uh, this is one of the best marksman uh, marches currently in the game, into the season 2. Uh, what should be next? Of course, uh, well, uh, I'm not a free-to-play player uh, and I don't have enough experience by myself, but I have been to the many wars and Lilia and Welin is still one of the best uh, mage uh, march currently. Um, uh, unfortunately, Lilia is only gettable from the $1 uh, bundle. Uh, I did not get her uh, because I'm not spending any money in the game. But still, we need to say what's the best currently in the game, and that's my opinion. Lilia with Welin is still one of the best uh, mage marches in the game. Uh, they have a good synergy, they have like one of the best uh, DPS in the game with the long range, so if you are playing with the mages and if you have some money uh, at first, uh, you should be running with Lilia and Velin. Uh, regarding like infantry, uh, Garwood was really really bad at, at first in a season 1 or season 1 plus, but when time came, like people like I understood how the how to utilize the Garwood in general, so like Garwood is not that bad anymore. But still, uh, until right now, there is like Madeline and Nika, uh, still one of the best um, the marches in the game. Like lot of counter attack damage, lot of uh, defense, but not not much healing. Like if you want healing, you have Garwood. But uh, Madeline and Nika is like DPS tank, which is tanky enough to tank everything, especially if you have a, uh, research in the infantry side, uh, and a lot of counter-attack damage. Honestly, like uh, I don't think it will change. Madeline is just too great to have, just simply because the uh, unit capacity increase on the second skill. It's one of the best skills in the game. And that's like the main reason why I think this Madeline and Nika is great am and amazing. Uh, regarding like Nico, I think Nico and Kinara fell short uh, after season two, but still amazing to have. Like Syndrome and Fregar is new, and as everybody knows, when something new comes out, uh, that's a new meta, right? But if you have like Nico and Kinara, you are not behind, you are still having fun, you are still dealing a lot of damage with the defense break uh, and defense reduction uh, style of playing. And in my opinion, like uh, if we will continue speaking regarding infantry, uh, Garwood would be like here. <clears throat> and if you want to pair something with Garwood, then I think Madeline and Garwood can be fine, simply because Gar Garwood is healing a lot. Uh, and Madeline has a uh, Legion capacity increase and more troops are equal to more healing and so on, right? So if you want to play with Garwood, the Garwood would be like this, but uh, currently I think this is the best infantry march uh, around. 
like regarding uh, cavalry, uh, like they fell off harshly. If you are not T5 player, you are not that important during wars with cavalry, or uh, like your main job as a cavalry, as a free to play player, is to help your alliance during routes of war. And that's why I, I don't think uh, Emrys and Bakshi is better than Nico and Kinara. That's why I will put Emrys and Bakshi here. Like, this is, I think, the good uh, option for Emrys and Bakshi because they lack damage. They, like, okay, if you will flank the enemy during war, you still have to deal with the marksmen, with the mages, which will deal high, high amount of damage because during wars, infantry is always in front. And that's why they are like lacking more damage and more uh, survivability. That's my opinion. And regarding like Thea, I will put Thea like only Thea on uh, same level as Nico and Kinara because Thea can be matched with almost anything, right? Like barriers and buffs can be even matched with uh, infantry, can be even matched with uh, uh, Emery's, can can be even matched with the uh, Garwood, so like simple uh, Thea and uh, Hosk will be like, will be here. This is not a uh, like March Legion, this is simply single out uh, legendary heroes which are, which can be used in many different uh, spots in the game. And like uh, in this, in this as a gatherer, and I don't think we need to speak much right now regarding in this. But secretly, I think in this can be viable in the future seasons because whenever people we will awaken her simply by playing the game, I think uh, she her uh, like healing and all these kids she has will be important in the future. Uh, this is like my idea regarding best uh, pairings in the game. Uh, this is not a pairing. This is like single out heroes, which are which I think are amazing in almost every uh, pair they will get. Uh, and right now I will continue this video by talking with epic heroes. Uh, I think they are good choices in an epic section uh, right now. Uh, this first section of the video was only legendary heroes and the second one will be like one should be one might be legendary and the second might be the epic one. I will clean the board uh, as quickly as I can and we will uh, speak more directly regarding epic heroes. Like, um, the it's amazing to have a both legendary heroes, but as a free-to-play player, it's almost impossible to have a good skills on a both legendary players. Not only the skills, I think the medals is really hard to get to have a, almost like four skills of the hero, right? So you need to be wise and you need to understand that you can use uh, epic heroes uh, with the legendary ones and this can be viable also. I think like most obvious choice is always so Walder is uh, well in. Uh, you can get uh, you can awaken Walder like in this in one season uh, actually if you are League of Order especially and well in you can get from the chests uh, and also you can get from the VIP shop. So if you are a mage player, this march is great. This is the march I'm using. Uh, currently, and I don't have any complaints, you will slowly upgrade the skills of the Welling, and you will simply have Waldir with the Awakened skill, and the Awakened skill of Waldir is dealing to damage to two legions, while Wallin is giving the freeze and the slow and the magic damage or reduction. Uh, what else? Like, I, I, I will be honest, uh, still, this uh, hero pairing is great, Especially if you are a League of Orders player, uh, you will have Celestials. These two heroes are buffing each other, and the Celestials ranged mages. Like if you if you like to play, uh, you know what I think. Like, but uh, it it can be here or it can be here. But at first, let's let's put the Thea and the Atheus here. Uh, regarding like infantry, of course, like most. Uh, um, like simple infantry epic uh, uh, hero pairs are like this because they are both infantry and also you can use Bahar as a garrison hero and this is like double usage of the Bahar but I think uh, like let's say something like this I will put here 
because I think still Waldrow is well in is better than Thea and that heals, but it depends on your playstyle. If you like flying units, you can put them here, but uh, as I'm not the uh, guy who plays the flying units the, the most of the time, um, and I'm using Waldrow and Welin, that's why I put it like this. Now, also, this great, great uh, uh, infantry uh, hero pairs are Garwood and Eliana. As you already know, Garwood is healing, and awakening Eliana is very easy because you will get a lot of Eliana events, and you just simply need to collect the dolls and get Eliana tokens. So whenever Eliana is getting awakened, she is getting uh, shields and heals, so this is synergy, right? Healing, shielding, um, infantry is tanky enough to be itself tanky. So I think this uh, new hero pair emerged in Season 2, and even a lot of Tier 5 players are, are playing with this. Uh, regarding like uh, Gwenwin, Gwenwin can be good with almost anything, uh, honestly. Uh, simply, um, only Gwenwin is enough, right? Because Awakened skill of Gwenwin, Poison, is good uh, into, into the uh, Behemoth. So, like, uh, Gwenwin with, let's say, Nico, can be fine, right? Uh, I'm sure everybody is having Nikos. Uh, this is a hero which you will get from the chests. That's why I choose epic heroes with the legendary heroes, With the, you can get uh, them from the chest, so it will be easy for you to uh, upgrade them, right? Uh, that's why I'm not putting like Madeline, I'm not putting uh, Kinara, and of course, even here, uh, in my opinion, cavalry should be like here, because in general I don't think cavalry is performing well, uh, also, if you want to use Thea with something else, you can have like, uh, it will change like this, Atheus will go away and we will have Craig, and actually Craig is like here. Now, if you want to use Thea with Craig, let's see again another option, but I think uh, this one is pretty good, uh, without any questions, because Atheus and Thea is amazing hero pair. This is like another tier list of epic and legendary heroes which are uh, really good and as a free-to-play player i think you are going with this of course if you don't like currently i don't run even bakshi i run uh bakshi with alistar and it's like this uh, and this is like my honest opinion because i like i don't have enough resources as a free-to-play player to have stars medals and tokens for every legendary unit that's why I need to choose uh, correctly, and I need to follow up my playstyle. This is the hero pairing uh, uh, tier list from me. I hope you liked the video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and bye-bye.